Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a get ready with me using some of my favorite products. If you're interested in how I do my makeup before work, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so to start off, I'm just prepping my skin with some lip balm and I'm using the Kiehl's Moisturizing Cream, which I've been really loving lately. And sorry about my huge point on my face. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get rid of it. Now I'm just applying some eye cream, which the one I'm using right now is the Clinique. Um, it's pretty basic, I feel like, but it does the job. It preps underneath the eye. This product that I'm using now is kind of like a primer and moisturizer in one. I had went to a makeup class and the makeup artist was using it. So I've been really loving it and I've been using it on my clients as well. To fill in my pores, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This product is amazing. Like, I literally cannot live without this product. I did use the Natasha one and this is literally the exact dupe. Shout out to Jeffree Star for breaking the internet. For foundation, I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way. I love this so much. I've been using it for a couple years now and I really like how it sits on my skin. It looks natural and it's also super full coverage. For concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape, and the shade I'm using is Light Neutral. To cream contour, I'm using my Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. I've been really loving doing this um, instead of going in with an actual like contour stick. I like the formula of this concealer because it really blends um, and just looks really natural on the skin. To set my under eye, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Loose Powder. I was watching Beyonce's makeup artist and he uses this to set the under eye and I've been using it and I've been really loving it. To fill in my brows, I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Light Brown. And then for the inner part of the brow, I'm using the Catrice Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Blonde. After I'm done filling in my brows, I like to go ahead and clean them up with some concealer. And I'm using the same concealer, which is Shape Tape. And I really like doing this part because I feel like it really polishes the brows. To 
set my cream contour. I'm going in with um, the Morphe bronzer, which is in Vlogger. <laughs> To set everything else, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in Translucent. Now for eyeshadow, I use two different palettes in this look. The first one is the ColourPop Good As Gold. And I like to take that kind of yellowish warm color right in the crease and mix it in with that neutral um, light brown. This part is optional, but I like to take some um, like loose baking powder and just kind of um, kind of press it onto the sides with an angled flat top brush, and it helps create like that kind of long winged look when you're doing your eyeshadow. Now I'm taking that matte brown color and putting that right in the crease and also in the outer V. I'm taking that dark shimmery brown and popping that on the outer corners as well and also on the inner corner to create more of like a halo effect. brush I'm going back in with that yellow color and popping that right in the crease again and just blending everything so it's nice and seamless. Now I'm taking the Hangin' in Hawaii palette and using that bottom bronzy color and popping that right in the middle of my eye to create the halo effect and I do spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray just to amplify the shadow a little bit more. Going back in with the other palette and taking that same dark shimmery color and popping that in the same areas, which is the outer corner and the inner corner, just making sure that everything is blended between the bronzy middle color and also the darker colors on the outer edges. Now I'm taking the other palette and going in with more of like an orangey color and just popping that in the crease just to make sure everything is blended. Popping on some mascara right before we apply some lashes. And the lashes I'm using are from Amazon, and which I will also link down below. I freaking love these lashes. They're so fluttery, so pretty. They are kind of dramatic, so if you're not into it, I wouldn't really recommend it. But I'm all about the dramatic lashes. Waterline, just to make sure that the lashes and my lashes blend really really good for the lower lash line I like to use that matte brown color and just pop that right underneath 
and then I will go in and take a lighter warmer color which I believe is the yellow one um, and just pop that right underneath just to make it nice and blended with a smaller flatter brush I'll go in with even a darker brown and just pop that right underneath the lashes now I'm using my gold eyeliner and popping that right in my waterline just to brighten up the eye look a little bit more instead of using just black eyeliner. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using that lighter shade in the Hawaii palette and this is my favorite inner corner highlight. I think I use this every single day, I promise you. Now I'm taking that matte black eyeshadow and with a small angled brush, I'm just pressing that onto the lash line just to make my real lashes and the fake lashes blend a little bit better. For blush, I'm using my MAC blush, which is in Raisin. I also like to take another blush, which is the new ColourPop one from the Whatever palette. And it's kind of like the same tone, but this one's a little bit more shimmery. For my highlighter, I'm using my Ride or Die, which is the Amrezy from Anastasia. I freaking love this. I mean, can you see that highlight? It's just so pretty. I like more golden tone highlighters than anything else. For lips, I'm using my favorite trio, which is the KKW liner, and then I use the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. And then after that, I follow up with a ColourPop lip gloss. And I've been doing this trio for a couple weeks now. I really like it. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also leave a comment down below and what you guys would like to see next. Thank you guys so much.